heads of state and representatives from the East African Regional Bloc, IGAD, which helped to broker the peace deal, are expected for the celebrations. South Sudan's government says it's also invited all opposition parties to attend. The leader of the main opposition group, Riek Machar, has reportedly agreed to take part in the event. If he does, it will be the first time Machar has been back home since leaving in 2016. Some locals are speaking out about his return. I'm glad that peace is finally here and uh, it's been a long time coming. So we just hope that it will last and we're glad that he's finally coming home. <laughs> We need to forgive each other. We cannot get revenge on everything. We have suffered enough because of revenge. Our politicians should join their hands and work together for this country. I want the peace that is coming to be real peace, not peace on paper that people just talk about. We now want to see real action for peace on the ground. The government is also using the occasion to reassure South Sudanese that it's working hard to bring stability to the country. We have realized that our, the mistake we have made, uh, our people suffered actually, whether inside or outside. In fact, they suffered a lot. That is why now the president by himself made it sure that the agreement should be implemented in spirit, letter and in spirit. <laughs> But many question whether this will be the case. In the past, peace deals have fallen through and ceasefires have been violated, sometimes within hours of being signed. Some in the international community see this event as an indication that real progress is being made. However, there are still many challenges ahead, including security, implementing reforms, and running an expanded unity government. Patrick Coyette, CGTN. Juba, South Sudan.